The following 10 wrestlers all did some unquestionably strange and often inadvisable things before eventually locking up in between the ropes, intentionally smashing their skulls into doors, giving a sibling a rather specific slap, and even spending almost an entire day sitting on a plane between matches. That's a lot of time in your ass. Now, sometimes these weird acts led to satisfying results, but other times they just caused all kinds of controversy. Either way, though, they're all definitely a bit odd. So with all that in mind, I am Gareth, this is What Culture Wrestling, and here are the 10 weirdest things wrestlers did before matches. Number 10. Cody Rhodes flies for 17 hours to compete at WCPW. In the years before becoming the biggest babyface in the entire game, and standing at the center of one of the most emotional stories of the last decade, independent scene sensation Cody Rhodes was making cities all over the world outside of WWE. And perhaps the most incredible example of his drive and commitment during this time in his life occurred back in 2017. Following on from a Tokyo Dome showdown with eventual Bang Bang Gang member Juice Robinson for New Japan Pro Wrestling, Rhodes' schedule required him to be in Liverpool. The very next night, in order to get to that WCPW Kirby Mania show, an event that would involve him scrapping with the United Kingdom's own Zack Sabre Jr., the American Nightmare had to endure 17 hours worth of flying from Japan to Great Britain. That's not the best way to rest the old body up after a battle on the other side of the planet. But that didn't stop Rhodes from putting on a show when he did finally touch down in England, picking up his second W in as many days as he defended his internet championship successfully. And after all that, he'd share a well-earned beer with the crowd, looking every bit the real people's champion he'd ultimately become seven years later. And while we're talking about Cody Rhodes, I want to know right now what is your favorite Cody Rhodes match outside of WWE? Is it a WCPW one, an AEW one, whatever it is, you let me know in the comment section down below. Number 9. Goldberg Gives Himself a Pre-Match Concussion Whether you adored the sight of Bill Goldberg smashing through various main events, or were glad to see the back of Deman when his most recent run with WWE came to an end in 2022, there's one thing that everyone can definitely agree on. There was rarely a dull moment whenever this intense chat popped up on screens. Perhaps the most infamous evening of his latest and possibly final spell in WWE came at Super Showdown 2019, a night which saw a clearly out-of-it Goldberg and way past his best Undertaker nearly kill one another in the main event. It was the worst kind of wrestling car crash, with fans watching on feeling genuinely uncomfortable as the veterans landed on their heads and spluttered through the longest nine minutes in wrestling history. And the huge reason this 90s dream match and 2019 nightmare contest became such such a disaster was the fact Goldberg's pre-match ritual of butting a door to fire himself up went horribly wrong that night, knocking himself out before he'd even made eye contact with the dead man. That concussion soon led to another during the match as the former WCW World Heavyweight Champion collided with a ring post. What is he like, eh? Had this bald icon just opted to swig a Lucasade before his date with the Phenom instead, this Saudi mess could have been a whole lot less painful for both men and the audience. Number 8. The Bella Twins Ass Taps So, Brie and Nikki Bella weren't the sort of performers who went for the Goldberg routine before a contest. Instead of slamming their skulls into inanimate objects, these two former Divas champions had other ways of getting themselves in the zone for an incoming match. On top of a bit of meditation, getting themselves in a calm zone before clashing with their opponents in front of thousands of screaming fans, the twins would keep each other focused should one of them feel distracted or nervous. Oh, and as the eventual WWE Hall of Famers made their way out to the ring, the brief spell involving them being stood in the gorilla position also saw them do a few, uh, specific things each night. As they'd revealed to WWE.com back in 2014, Brie and Nikki would give each other a quick peck on the cheek, followed by a loving tap on the butt and the words of we're gonna do amazing out there. Nikki would note how you don't see many stars spanking each other before getting ready to put their bodies on the line in a wrestling ring. And she's not wrong, is she? Each to their own, I guess. Number 7. Rey Mysterio Lays Out His Gear The legendary Rey Mysterio has been doing this since 1989, this being pro wrestling, baby. And he's been competing at a high level for three decades. That's older than me. And over the years, the most famous luchador on the planet has developed quite the unique ritual he likes to complete before lighting up whatever venue he's booked to appear at. The world's strongest man, Mark Henry, discussed Ray Ray's odd preparation on Busted Open Radio recently, explaining how the former world champion's routine involved him doing something a little specific with his gear 
putting the mask he was going to wear that night down on the floor, Mysterio would then add the shirt, pants, shoes, underwear, and socks he was going to compete in too. And after all that, he would just sit there and stare at the ensemble. Henry admitted to asking his colleague if he was okay after seeing the strange ritual in person, but soon realized that this was just Ray's way of seeing the full look he was going to sport that night, before throwing it on and becoming everyone from the Joker to Captain America Mysterio. It may have seemed weird to some, but it was something this Hall of Famer felt he just needed to do in the lead-up to his many classic moments in Between the Ropes. Number 6. Jeff Hardy's Strange Pre-Match Number Routine Without doubt, one of the most eccentric individuals ever to step foot in the squared circle. It'll likely come as no surprise to learn that Jeff Hardy has a suitably weird way of getting ready for a night of bumping. The charismatic Enigma would discuss his super-precise ritual of sorts during a WWE Q&A back in 2017, revealing that he begins his preparation process while sat on the toilet. So he kicks things off with a little prayer, standard enough. From here though, the former world champion will then count all the way up to 24 before then reminding himself that half of that is, of course, 12. Why does the veteran Daredevil feel the need to go through that numerical conversation in his mind as he gets ready for a match? Well, according to Jeff, he's just obsessed with the numbers 24 and 12. Right. His pre-match antics continue after that sitting on the loo, with Hardy having to sink a five-hour energy drink and smash out exactly 48 push-ups in order to keep himself from freaking out before the bell rings. But if he's obsessed with 24 and 12, then surely 36 press-ups would make a bit more sense, no? Whatever works for the Hardy Boy, eh? Thank you very much for watching this video today, my friend, and if you're enjoying what you're watching, then hit that subscribe button down below for more of this What Culture Wrestling stuff in your eyeballs. Number 5. John Cena's 10,000 Calories Worth of Tic Tacs Wrestlers spend an awful lot of time up close and personal with their colleagues, so you can understand how irritating it must be for a performer if their dance partner hasn't kept on top of their own personal hygiene before walking down the aisle. Those locking up with the face that runs the place over the decades, though, never had to worry about the icon's breath stinking up a contest, as John Cena had a rather extreme way of keeping himself smelling fresh. As it explained on The Kelly Clarkson Show in 2019, Super Cena developed a pretty intense habit of putting away a frightening amount of Tic Tacs in the 20 minutes before getting out to the ring. We're not talking a handful or even a packet. Cena used to clean off up to three boxes of the little white mints pre-match. That, Cena claimed slash joked, was pretty much a whopping 10,000 calories of straight sugar being shoved down his throat before every appearance. And while that nervous superstition, as he called it, was surely appreciated by his fellow wrestlers, it is little surprise Cena had to wean himself off the candies in the end. I mean, that many Tic Tacs in such a tiny window of time can't have been all that good for the legend's chiseled body, right? But if you wanted a mint backstage, in WWE? Well, you knew where to get some, at least. Number 4. CM Punk Confronts Jack Perry Before His Wembley Moment It's not every day that a wrestler gets the chance to march out in front of 80,000 fans inside of a packed Wembley Stadium, so it's safe to assume that a lot of the All Elite performers making their Wembley debut on the night of August 27, 2023, were doing all they could to remain focused in such a high-pressure scenario. And then you had CM Punk, who, instead of taking a moment to compose it, himself before walking out for what would become his final ever AEW showdown, decided to get something off his chest moments before his match with Samoa Joe. Intercepting Jack Perry as he made his way back through the curtain, Punk and the one-time Jungle Boy exchanged heated words in the wake of the latter's controversial Crimea River statement in the bout which had just concluded. The surreal situation would then escalate with a pissed-off best in the world shoving and choking Perry before the pair's intense scuffle was broken up by the likes of Joe and the AEW staff members nearby. We've all seen the tape. Punk was then fired not long after the event for his part in the incident, though he'd later claim that he quit. And all that just before putting on a three and a half star Meltzer rated Wembley Classic. I mean, that's one way to prepare for the biggest event in wrestling history, I suppose. Number three, Rusev and Lana have sex in the WrestleMania 31 tank. Few will ever forget the absolutely epic visual of Rusev rolling into WrestleMania 31 for his United States Championship battle against John Cena on a goddamn tank. That seemingly wasn't the only thing the Bulgarian brute was able to tick off his bucket list during that Mania weekend, though. 
wrestling interviewer and journalist Ryan Satin would later post on Twitter slash X that the eventual Miro had apparently tried to have sex with his then-wife Lana in the military vehicle, joking that now we know why his head wasn't in the game when he lost to John Cena. Satin's comments seem to suggest that the pair had attempted to get a intimate pre-WrestleMania 31 in the tank, and Miro's eventual response of tried all but confirms that they did indeed do the deed in the armored car. Lana herself would also add on Instagram that they did very much get steamy, though she would clarify that it was actually on the tank and not within it. Either way, now you know, and you'll never be able to look at this iconic entrance quite the same way again. You are welcome. Number 2. Maven and Undertaker Drink Jack Daniels Before the Royal Rumble When it comes to shocking Royal Rumble eliminations, they don't come much better than the sight of tough enough winner Maven dropkicking the legendary Undertaker out of the 2002 edition of the match. Perhaps just as shocking as the moment itself, though, is the way both men chose to get themselves ready for the iconic spot. You see, Maven would eventually need to shed some blood after upsetting the Phenom during the over-the-top rope battle. Typically, a wrestler would take an aspirin to get some decent color, but with Maven being allergic, Taker had another bright idea after learning this 90 minutes before the 30-person match. The pair proceeded to put away some Jack Daniels to thin out his blood in the time before the rumble Maven would tell Not Sam Wrestling, meaning that the rookie was actually actually two sheets to the wind during the match itself. Hell, Maven was feeling the effects of the booze so much, he was actually somewhat surprised he was able to connect with the crucial dropkick at all. I mean, thankfully he did. And a stunning moment that would be replayed for years to come was born, right before he was bloodied up by a vengeful and slightly tipsy icon. Number 1. The Rock wrestles Hurt at an indie show a few days before a WWE pay-per-view match. The People's Champion had quite the 1998, along with feuding with the likes of Triple H and Ken Shamrock, and winning his first ever WWF championship, The Rock actually ended up strangely appearing on a show outside of the WWF that year too. Not only that, Rocky actually competed for that Canadian independent promotion after picking up an injury and strictly being told to stay at home by his then-boss Vince McMahon. The Great One had an important match against Farouk at Over the Edge in Your House coming up just two days after the Border City Wrestling event. So it's not hard to understand why the WWF didn't want him taking any bumps, especially away from their own ring. But The Rock was able to talk his way into being allowed to appear at the show he'd been advertised for. And it was after doing that, and feeling the energy of the crowd that night, when Rocky suddenly decided to lace up his boots for a tag match alongside D'Lo Brown against former TNA president Scott Demore and Larry Destiny. It didn't matter that he had a dodgy knee. It didn't matter that Mark Henry had also been flown out as a backup. The Rock wanted to throw down in front of the 1100 sellout crowd that had paid to see a glimpse of greatness. Now all involved did play it safe, according to Damore, and those in attendance were given a surreal memory that they'll probably never ever ever forget. What a moment, man. Have you enjoyed this 10 weirdest things that wrestlers did before matches video? Then here's some more weirdness, my friend. 10 weirdest ways wrestlers got hired by WWE. Go and click on it and have some fun.